So I'm going to make a real quick video on how I make the skeleton for my mannequin. Here's the tools that I got so far. Got my drill, got my dremel, got my dremel bits, uh, just regular, you know, bits for the drill. Got these screws here, got that, you know, my battery, and I got, these are actually an uh, inch and a half pipe. And I got eight of these corner ones, two of the uh, crosses, and two of these. So I start off with the Dremel tool, the Dremel cutting tool, this thing. And then I marked how big, you know, I want it to be. So I want it to be about that big. And actually I just used a piece of tape to go around it. That way I cut it in a straight line. And I did that for two of the pipes. Then what I did is I measured out the rest of it. Um, I had one stick left, so I just cut it into 10 inch pieces. And I cut the rest out. These are going to be my hip joints. These are going to be uh, where my shoulder goes. These are going to be my arms. And what was left out of one, I'm just going to make it my torso. Okay, so with the 10 inch pieces that I cut out of the one uh, PVC pipe, I put this together. This is actually the base. I don't know if you can see that. So I've got four corners and the T joints. And this is actually going to be the base. And then you just basically put the pieces together. So, there's the arms, goes down, and there's the base. So, I actually wanted a head on this. So, what I did is I took one of the arms and cut it in half. Now, I actually have a head. or It's probably, it's probably too tall. But we'll deal with that, you know, later. Okay, so what I did is I took these screws. They're actually uh, self-tapping screws, which means that they burrow in so you can unscrew them and, you know, use another kind of screw. But what I did was drill them into the points where they connect. I did it on both sides. And now this thing will not bend at all. Um, I also put some in the base. And as you can see, I've already got my legs on here. So the base is secure. Uh, the top is secure. Um, I did not put any at the bottom of the legs down here. That way I am able to lift the mannequin off the base. So I'll have the base and then the top part. Um, I also did not secure the torso part here. That way I can take that off and, you know, it'll easily fit somewhere. So, that's pretty much it. Hope you enjoyed the uh, tutorial.